Red Reserve was the first team to officially break the news of their new squad, and they will consist of Rated, Zero, Joe, and former Unilad star scraps. Red is hoping this team will fix their chemistry issues and get them some more consistent finishes. Maven, what grade are you giving this move for Red Reserve? A plus. Uh, you know that I wow, mentioned many times. Strong. I am a I'm a guy that my first focus is talent and tangibles come second. You know, Josh is a guy that has had a great career. Um, he is a very good player. He does bring a lot of intangibles. You know the leadership role he brings when he like fixed the Epsilon team back in IW. There's a lot that this guy can do. Um, but an scraps, A plus though, scraps and A plus. Scraps is a. We're watching a superstar be born when you're talking okay. about European players, and just I think one thing that's held a team like Redback or any European teams at times from taking respawns off of top North American teams has been that slaying factor. Like usually, we'll talk about the fact that they can win games while being outslayed. They're not coming in and you know outslaying by 20, 30 kills and dominating on a map. I think Scraps provides that potential that was not there before. He was the hottest commodity, the biggest pickup. You heard myself. We've talked about it. Joe, you have. Nameless has talked about it on the show as well. He was the biggest hot kind of free agent, even though he wasn't really free agent. You know what I mean? That, that hot commodity you could try and go after. He's an upcoming star. And Red, Red got him. So I, I, I could not feel better about this. Um, will it work out? I mean, it should. <laughs> Maybe not. But they should be. They should be very, very good. I'm so mad. So mad. I thought I was, I was so sure you were going to give it like a C or like what? a What? Like Why? Why? Just because that's, you know the way you, that's the way you work. Right? Well, he went to an A plus, Ben, so uh, <laughs> and the, that's uh, another end of the spectrum. Yeah, it is, and I give it an A plus as well, uh, which is oh, why I'm so on. angry. You guys are killing this, me. This, killing this, me. This, Stop. This, this squad looks so, so good on paper. Now, Josh, as a player, as a leader, fantastic, but you bring in this just raw talent that Scraps has. We've seen him do it against the best in the world so many times on the biggest of stages. He is such a talent. And the key thing that I really want everyone to focus on here was the community I feel as a whole kind of got their pitchforks out and was saying, Red's making a change. Get rid of Joe. Get rid of Joe. He's the one that needs to go. I'm so happy they didn't. He's such a key component to that squad. You saw Reddit even kind of well, tweet out as well, say, we kind of need, we need Joe. We need a player like him. You live by Joe, you best. die by well, Joe. How much easier, right? I think, does Joe being there on the team still make it for Scraps? Because we know Scraps is a very Simple. slay heavy it makes SMG. It he is not so going to be the guy necessarily always making the right play or the guy that wants to be first in necessarily, but having Joe flying around and he just has to worry about picking up kills, picking up streaks, just be that dominating superstar force we've seen him be. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. Like you need your sort of like any sport, your kind of role player, and then you you have that the guy that picks up kills. And I've always been a guy that believes is it a four man effort? Yes, but if you have one superstar AR, one superstar sub on a team, you can sort of make it work. I think about the NFL. Like if you have one like I'd say you have a stud offensive line. Well, they have you can three make an offense superstars. decent behind a stud yeah. offensive line. Like if you have that core there with one really good AR, one really good sub. I, I feel like you are automatically have very good pen, potential. So I, and, I don't know. I'm and excited. look at the flex player. The flex player of this team is zero. Yeah. And I mean, the past couple of years, year. you could say he's been the best talent in Europe. You can argue that. So on but paper, it, this team does look great. It, it's weird, though, because you don't really need zero to be that hero of kind of like last year, yeah. if you will. You, you don't need that really this year. Can he do it? Of course he can. But I think this Red Reserve squad with this move just solidified themselves as the best team in Europe by a landslide, in my opinion. I don't even think it's close anymore. Uh, I, I on really paper, think I think we all so, agree. So we'll see. Who, who the hell knows? But, but, but this is, this is <laughs> the paper, thing. On paper, we like, all agree. Have they had their inconsistencies this year? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We can't we can't argue. You, you know, I, I had them coming in as favorites to win an event, and when you go back to Birmingham, they crashed out in just crazy fashion. Just a little bit. But I think it's only a matter of time before we get that kind of clicking performance where everything just goes right for this squad. And hey, guess what? We're getting close to that time of the year again. Could it be champs where Red Reserve go on a big run? Could they be a European finalist? I mean, we've had European finalists in a lot of our majors so far this year. Red Reserve, to me, look fantastic. You both give them an A+. I'm both going to give you a one point because you tied. Clint, you were going towards it. There was a bonus point in there for one of you. But the big thing is, is this is Scrap's tier one, t first tier one team. This is his first opportunity. He has had no drama, no beef with any of these guys on this team because he's never even had an opportunity to play with them. This could be Scrap's potential. This could be his year 